in a very long time. Um, I actually, it's a little, I have so much love for e.l.f. Cosmetics, but I actually own so much of their stuff that for a while I couldn't, um, it was like I realized that the only reason I would be placing an order is just because I'm addicted to e.l.f. because I didn't really actually need anything so I would try to restrict my purchases to new items that came out that I wanted to purchase so I haven't actually made a purchase in a really really long time but this one was prompted by the fact that I left my I think this brush is I don't know which one this is this is this this little blending brush I love this brush so much my wedding day I thought that this brush got lost in the church but come to find out it was because um, I had just thrown thr well no I didn't but um, the my friends that packed up my stuff for me just like threw my stuff into my purse and didn't really, you know, they were just trying to make sure that they had gathered all of my things. And because I never really unpacked my purse, I had unpacked all of the bags and boxes and everything, but I hadn't unpacked my purse. So there was like, I knew that I was missing some brushes, but this is the only one in particular that I knew was missing because I had the this little sleeve, but I didn't have the brush. And I'm like... I know that some stuff is missing, and I know that it's stuff that I really, really like, but I couldn't pinpoint. But this brush I use every single time I put on makeup. I had to order. <laughs> I'm trying to place an e.l.f. order just to replace this brush. I love this brush that much. So, yeah. And when I was going through cleaning out my purse, I found it, and I'm like, I don't even care. I love the brush enough that... Having two of them only make it more better. So here's my order. The box seems really light, but there's actually a bunch of stuff in here. So let's get to it, makeup lovers. Go through the stuff in the bag. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but ELF recently became um, a publicly owned company, so they're now going to be traded on the stock exchange. And I was excited for them and I was happy for them, you know. However, I was also a little bit sad because as a customer and consumer who loves the company so much, I was wondering what kind of changes does that mean for, you know, for the customers because I can't find a single bad thing that I, that to say about their, their company at all. The customer service is awesome. Anytime you have a, product, a problem, they replace everything. You don't have to, you know, in the beginning when I first became a customer, I thought that I would have to send back, you know, if if there was a problem like even if you buy a palette and there's one broken eyeshadow they will send you the whole other palette and like no you don't have to send back the palette we'll just send you another one out immediately they are just an amazing amazing company and I'm wondering you know what kind of changes is it going to mean because this is, is going to mean probably a lot of growth for them and so I'm just wondering that that small town family 
you know, loving feel that you know that you are appreciated as a customer. You know that they care about you. At least that's how I have always felt about them. I'm just wondering, you know, what's going to change, you know. Are there going to be changes in the formula? Are there going to be changes in because they have been stepping up their game. They've been coming out with some stuff recently that is just amazing. And I feel like people sleep on them because their prices are so amazing that it is easy to sleep on them and feel like they can't be good quality. But they have amazing, amazing products. So even if you find your pockets growing, if you have fallen in love with ELF Cosmetics, it's a company that, in my opinion, you will always be in love with. There are products that you will probably always, always want to buy from them, no matter even if, you know, you started off buying, you know, the local beauty supply store and then all of a sudden you can afford to be shopping at MAC and afford Too Faced and all these other products. ELF is a company that their products are that good. They really, really are that good. So, don't sleep on them. That's all I'm saying. Oh, these are the free things. Okay, so, it was like, um, spend such and such amount of money and get a free such and such a... Let me see what, what the name of it is. Fall Warmth Giveaway. So, this was my... Um, these are the items that I received free. This warm bronzer. Do I already own this? I'm not sure if I own this already. And I might have given mine to my daughter. And if I did, then I'm really happy because now I have one to replace it. Um, ELF Extra Lip Gloss and Michael. I actually love these extra um, lip glosses. These are the bomb. A matte eyeshadow palette, matte for plum, uh, complexion brush, and lengthening and volumizing mascara. And this this mascara is also the bomb. I used to always make sure that I would buy these like two and three at a time, so that I would always have them on hand. Okay, now for the things that I purchased. So I purchased the Tone Adjusting Face Primer because I have a tendency to be red around my nose and mouth area. And yeah, this is the only one that I didn't have. So I had been meaning to pick this up, but I wasn't going to place an order just to get this and I hadn't tried it. <laughs> Show you the crazy thing. I didn't want to place an order just to try this. But for something that I've tried, that I feel like I love and I know that I want, I was willing to place an order for one item, but yeah. So now I'm finally going to get the chance to try this. Um, oh, I got the, the, these are new, these color correcting sticks. I got one for myself and one for my daughter. So let's open this up and check it out. Check it out, check it out. Everybody's having these, um color correcting sticks and now ELF came out with some so it is adjustable so that's the very first thing off rip and this is good right we likey we likey uh, let's check it out and see how blendable it is crap my concealer brush not clean. Let's take a brush and see. Ooh, it blends out nicely. It blends out so nice. Child, check that out. That blends out really nice. Wow. This blends out so amazing. Look at that. Wow. I can tell I'm going to love this. I, um, it's like in between what the, um, it's in between my LA Girl in Orange and this NYX Dark Circle. Even though this one is the medium one, it doesn't seem medium to me. It seems like really, really light, so... This is 
in between these two. A happy medium. I'm happy about this. And this blends so... I mean, it just blends like butter. Ooh, I'm happy. I'm so happy. Okay, let's see what else we got. Um, obviously, my be beautifully bare blending brush. And the last thing that I got is the makeup brush cleansing gloves. And obviously, this is to give that Sigma fiber, um cleansing glove brush a run for its money, which that sucker is like almost $40. And I think this one was 10 if I'm not mistaken. The price isn't on the pack and slip. I'm, I think this one is like $10. Um, I'm really excited to... I'm going to have to watch a video to see how to use this because I'm pretty sure like these little dips in here are for like, you know, taking your brush through here to like uh, run the, the water through and all of this. They have all these different sections and I'm sure they each do different things, but I know this one because um, they have these little teeth in, in their grooves in there. I'll, I'll do a video. Let's do a video on using this. So I promise you guys that I don't promise I don't like to use that word, but that's going to be an upcoming upcoming um, video about the e.l.f. makeup brush glove and I am so not even going to do a purchase of the Sigma brush glove and try to like do a price comparison and all that stuff because yeah the way my bank account is set up I'm not even the whole point of being thrifty is to like save money so I We'll save that for somebody else's channel. You can watch like one of their videos to see how the, the Sigma brush glove thing works. Because ever since I saw that thing, I promise y'all, you, you could probably see I have a bunch of videos. I have a bunch of videos um, where I have been searching for an alternative, not wanting to pay the money for that one. Sorry. Yes, dear. Um, yeah, ever since I saw the Sigma brush glove thing I've always been intrigued by it but just the price I just couldn't so I have always been trying to find a cheaper alternative and I'm not going to be trying to order it even even if somebody gave me a birthday American Express gift card I still probably went bad I'm just keeping it real with y'all I'm just keeping it a thousand so anyway, but um, I actually really like this. I'm just like messing around with it with my fingers because it just feels really, um, it's nice. It feels like a really good quality. It's, um, I don't even know how to describe what I'm feeling, but it just feels really good. You know the difference between feeling something cheap and rubbery and feeling something that feels nice and well made that's made out of rubber? And it doesn't have that weird, nasty, chemical rubber smell that I don't like either. This is, um, I told you, Elf has been stepping up the game. They've been stepping up the game. Don't sleep on them. You will wish that you hadn't slept on them. So, that is all that is in this unboxing. And I am waiting for a girlfriend to come over and, as you can see by people calling me while I'm making videos and I had to answer that because it was my daughter um that is all that I have for this video oh let me see if there's anything I don't have any color cosmetics items to um oh I did want to show you guys the bronzer though we can do that I don't really have anything to like swatch or anything but I can't swatch the eyeshadows though that would have been kind of, ooh. No, I am quite certain that I do not have this bronzer palette already. And now it's fall and I got the nerve to be buying a bronzer. This is a nice mirror. I don't want to like be blind y'all or anything, but look, look at the mirror on this. That's a good mirror. This is nice.
I'm trying to see if I can, oops, I put that right on top of the um, color corrector stick thing. And I don't know why there's obviously a highlighter and a bronzer palette. But there is. And let's make sure that I'm putting all these in the right the right ones. Okay. Alright, so these are the bronzer swatches. Really nice. Very smooth, very pigmented. Amazing. But let's check out the um, matte eyeshadow palette. So there are four shadows. Your base lid, crease, and one to line with. I actually really like their matte for matte palette. A lot. Let's see. There is. I'm going to put some uh, shadow insurance on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to use this little thing. There's, um, it's double ended and there's two sides and since there's four shadows it's going to be perfect. I'm going to take a synthetic brush and blend out the shadow primer. Okay. So here is our base, which is definitely a base because it's, I mean, the, unless there is like something that is covering this up, nope. It reads as no color at all, which is quite interesting. Okay, and the next one is the lid. Okay, crease color. I'm trying to make sure that the the little samples that I, that I'm doing are thick enough and um, long enough or whatever, so that you can actually see. And the last one is the color to, ooh, lots of fallout. Okay, I'm going to try this base one more time. I don't know why I'm trying to make it have a color when it just does not want to. Okay, finally we see some, I had to work to get some color out of that. I'm just going to keep it real. Keep it 1,000 here. So here are the swatches. So here is the. I'm trying to cover up the mirror. And these are our four swatches. And the last thing that we have is um, our lip gloss. And I happen to have. a Michael already open right here next to me so I don't have to open that one up. Oh, no. well, I guess not. I thought that I would have a Michael right close so that I could show you but it doesn't seem like I do. And this is one um, a shade that I really, really like and I wear it often. It's probably in my purse, honestly. Because I wear it like it's a, it's a nude. So there is Michael. Okay, so that is my ELF Cosmetics order, everybody. So, um, stay tuned for my upcoming makeup brush cleansing and a video from ELS Cosmetics. But that is all that I have for this time. But until next time, you know the drill. Love, peace, and hairy. Ciao.
This, this word is the word of a pyro pyromaniac.